Let's go all the way back in time and take a look at this stock. And here's your one, two, three bottom pattern again. I don't think I talked about this on the video, but this is very common where you see a smile followed by a higher smile, followed by a breakout. And in this case, going into this first low period, we have a huge spike in on-balance volume. And then we get into this next low period, which is a higher low, and that's what we're looking for. If there's going to be lows, we want them to be higher. We have a higher spike on the on-balance volume than we did before. Plus we have the smile pattern, plus we have smiling volume. That's a good indication that a stock is going to move higher. Then we have a third smiling portion here, even though it's not as big as the others. On balance volume is still climbing. And the price is now out of the gates. And we have a higher level consolidation period here. On balance volume is gradually moving higher as we go through this consolidation. There's another peak on on balance volume. And then boom, you get the price break. If you look at this chart through here, there's a nice smile followed by a consolidation base. These bases are very powerful. When you see a base right after this smiling action. You want to place the trade as you break above the base, which in this case would have been 281. Now I actually traded this stock originally on a breakout from this area right in here, but then what happened is the stock moved up so far so fast that I decided to take profits uh, somewhere around in here at the 48 level. And this was a trade that I made about three or $4,000 on. I don't remember exactly. But then it popped up on my scanner again, this same stock. And I decided, well, it popped up. I'll go ahead and trade it again. So I put in another 500 bucks. I'll probably get stopped out of this one at a loss, but eh, that, that happens.